So I was wanting to explore um, this idea that work can be healing and that we're specifically called to our work, sort of in a big sense, and then our work each day in those little work spaces we get into. And I was thinking of how, certainly for the people who've been here for a while, and always for the new people that come to, it's not the easiest thing to work. It's uncomfortable and trying, and you wonder at times what you've gotten yourself in for, in terms of what am I doing? What am I really supposed to be doing with my life? What is my work? And why, and where did it come from, that desire to do a certain kind of work, to be, to have that talent or that desire, where does it come from? And it's the part that calls us, calls to us to do. You might be a teacher, you might be a cook, you might be a gardener, you might be a truck driver, you might be a milkman, <laughs> you might be a farmer, I don't know. Everyone has their own work and it's very specific to them to work through and to learn from. And uh, so there's that part of it, and then there's the part of, of how do, what is it bringing to us that we have to learn? What is it specific to us, to each one of us? And how does that, how does that work? And I think of um, what we have is sort of raw material, and that we almost can invent, no matter where we are, we can invent, we can start to build our own life according to something that is calling us forward. And at the same time, there's always this fear involved with coming forward because there's the thought that you don't know what's going to happen. But the interesting thing is, that we never know what's going to happen. If we can't plan it, we can't control it. We can only live it in the present. And it just, um, it gives us that opportunity to look at what needs to be learned in terms of becoming courageous and facing what has to be faced. And one of the things is awakening, awakening, awakening ourselves to what is, and at the same time, not wanting to see certain things on purpose because we want to see what we want to see. And so we're always in this place of of, of, of wanting to know more and at the same time putting on the blinders so that we don't see. And that intentional blindness is very, um, again, it's, it starts from that place of fear and then tension and then judgment and, and then you become stuck and things become very, very fuzzy in your life. If you don't, if you're not, if you stay in that place where you don't want to see and it's a place of fear, not wanting to see because whatever you see may not be what you want to see. So having the courage to, to do it brings it right down to the present. Just that is all you have to deal with. The very present moment, the very present task, and then something begins to happen. 
we do our practices and what part do they have to play? It's almost like we have to be conscious of those practices and bring them in. And then we have to be conscious of, the, of what we're doing in a very physical way so that the conscious mind and our physicalness come together. So there's always this folding in, folding in, folding in so that we know that there's a place. We come to know that place where we're secure and not afraid. Not afraid of what we're asked to do. Because we know that we're doing it together. And it's like when we stand and work together, when we stand and do practice together, then we know we have that kind of support and and we sort of fade out. Like there's that's what I wanted to know, like why we would live in a community. Why would we have work as one of our major practices? We're all working together. It's not that we're alone in one way, but also we're not alone in the way that we communicate and commune together, live together. And so each time something's brought forward that we all have to work with, then you have the support. So if the trees are laden with apples, and the bears are hungry for the apples, and we want the apples, some apples too, to protect the trees, then we all work together on one project. But it happens in many ways, and it's that support that uh, makes us feel secure, support from physical support from the spiritual. So the first song that we were singing about spirit and nature dancing together, is that the sort of the ideal that we want, that our nature and our spiritual part will come to some cultivated harmonious way inside and outside. Because we want to be masters of Self, have self-mastery of ourselves and be the master of our work, whatever is given to us, and not a slave to it. So we can practice. Jai 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 Jai